So where did Paleolithic people get their tools? They couldn't just roll on down to the stone depot and pick up some power tools. They had to make all the tools. Well, I'm standing in front of a Paleolithic hardware store right now. Flint nodules. All these pieces sticking out of the rock are flint. And so they could break off a piece of it and then they could shape it into a tool. Now they used other types of stone other than flint, but since I'm standing in front of flint, that's what I'm gonna talk about. Um, you can see there, there's little nodules like this. There's big ones. Um, I'm trying to look for a... They're just everywhere. Like here's one, here's one, here, 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 here. Tons of flint. They had no shortage of flint. I mentioned before that there are different types of tools that characterize different eras. And in the Paleolithic, they use flaked tools where they would take a stone core and then they would chip off pieces of it in order to make their tool. And they had all kinds of tools. They had axes, they had knives, they made uh, spear points. They had tools for uh, making leather into clothing. Um, they even had sewing needles. And a lot of them were hand tools, but you also have to remember that they used wood a lot too. So they would find something like this, see right here, because we're at the Stone Depot. You can get a stick like this and you can cut a notch into it and then you can tie a stone to it. And well, you have a tool that we would recognize. And because tools were so plentiful and were so easy to make, when they didn't need it anymore, they just threw it away. Because flint is so sharp, how are you going to carry it around? It's like walking around with a pocket full of razor blades. And as they used it, um, they could chip off some more flakes to resharpen it, but uh, once it just became unusable, they would just toss it away and make a new one. I think it's neat how it just it's almost like there's a layer of stone, a layer of flint, a layer of stone, a layer of, you well, know? Well, I believe, and I'm always going to use my qualifier, not a geologist. Um, I, I think I read that these, these flint were like um, little liquid uh, ball, like little pockets of liquid. When the stone formed, it made these little like bubbles, basically of flint. So what other materials would they use for tools? Uh, they would use bone. They would use antler. Um, they would use different types of rock depending on the job. And uh, they used a lot of wood tools. Now, Neanderthals figured out a slightly different way to make tools than modern humans did. And it was called the Levelois technique. And they would take a stone core and they would chip it in certain very specific ways around the edge. And the tool would just pop out of it. And that was something that it, more modern archaeologists figured out how to do it. Neanderthals also knew how to make like a glue. And they would uh, like concentrate this, uh, this tree sap and heat it to high temperatures until it became almost like an epoxy. And they could use that to stick uh, stone points onto wooden spears. And that was, again, something that the modern humans didn't figure out until much, much later. And so now we've just come maybe a hundred meters from where I was standing and just look at this rich vein of flint nodules. Like all of, like this is flint, this is flint, all this is flint. So all the Paleolithic people had to do was just knock off a piece of it and make some more tools. Inside the cave of Rufignac, which is where we are near, they, there are a lot of flint nodules in the walls, and the artists sometimes used them to be like the eye of the mammoth. Well, I hope you learned a little bit about stone tools. If you'd like to know some more, I'll put some affiliate links for some books in the description. And subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!